Nope. Oh, bother. Hello there. My phone was being silly and was trying to power off as I was trying to start this. So hopefully we can remedy some of the problems from before. So if you're here, I can actually, I believe now, see comments. So if one of you, I think there's a couple of you watching, so if you can just do a quick little shout out and let me know that you can see this. And we'll see if the lighting is okay. I know um, it's kind of a small little spot for you to see this whole catalog. But um, I just wanted to show you. Hey, a Amy, I can see you now. Woohoo! So um, we're going to be working with the Petal Passion Suite. I'm going to show you the crayon resist technique, um, but we're using this um, suite. So let me actually, where's the, it'd probably be easier if I show you the stamp set this way. So it's a two-part stamp set. Uh, there's this one, which is all the images, and then there's this one. And it's really nice. This is all the, the words. Hi, Jill. I'm glad you're back. Um, this is all the words for this set, so it's a nice one for greetings. Love the font. It's got a nice black and white patterned paper as part of it, and also um, framelits that coordinate with it. Just look at these amazing samples that are in the um, catalog. Great, right? They're really, really pretty. And I'll show you a few of the cards we made... Um, well, the ones I have handy. So here is a card that we made last night at my Stamp of the Month class. So that was a fun one to do. And we cut out the flower with the coordinating framelits. And then we also, this was their thank you card for coming. This was one I also designed for a swap. Um, so that was that one. Are you all seeing these cards straight up instead of sideways this time? Hopefully. Let me know. I just want to make sure I don't go too far before... Um, I realize that you guys aren't seeing what I'm seeing. So let's see. What else do we have? I have those two cards with this set, and then there's this one we also made last night. Oh, good. You can see them the right side up. Good. Good, good, good. So that's that one. So here's another one that's really pretty with the black and white pattern paper, and I colored in some of that with my Stampin' Blends. And then we just stamped tone on tone, so I used the Lemon Lime Twist ink with the Lemon Lime Twist cardstock, so that's one of my favorite things to do. And then we used the um, marker to stamp technique for this one, so you flip the stamp over, and you actually color directly on your stamp with your markers. So that's what we did with that one too. But what I want to show you, and I'm not, I'm kind of debating if I should show you the card first or just show you what I did and then you can see the card when I'm done. Um, weigh in if you want to. You can tell me whether you want to see the card first or if you want it to be a surprise. But this is what I did. I took the basic black archival ink. So it's just the basic black archival. And I used the um, glossy cardstock. I don't know if you can tell from the video. This was actually a technique I learned uh, ages ago, actually. Um, it was one of the first things I ever learned from my own um, mentor in stamping. And so I just wanted to recreate something with it. So glossy cardstock, basic archival ink, and then you need a white crayon. So I have a white crayon here. And what you do is you're going to go in and you're going to actually color in anything you want to stay white. So you're just going to go in and color all of these little petals. And you don't have to be super meticulous about it. It won't really matter in the end. You just want to make sure you get that wax onto the um, glossy paper wherever you want it to stay white. Just a little tip too when you do this. When you stamp it initially, you want to make sure that you give it a few minutes to dry. Um, probably several minutes to dry. Otherwise, you can see a little bit. I'm transferring that black a little bit because it wasn't probably completely dry. You could heat set it as well. So you would just go ahead and go along and color in all those pieces. I'm not going to actually do that right now just for the sake of time. I already had done one before. So I've already colored this one in with the um, white crayon. And now I'm going to take my uh, powder pink ink. And those of you that are new to Stampin' Up, just a little tip, you can push, whoop, I didn't want to push down on that. You want to push forward on the three little dots, and then you 
flip the ink pad over and lock it into place. And that is um, the best way to get your ink pads open. And when they're closed, they're actually stored upside down, which keeps the ink nice and moist at the top of the ink pad. So I'm going to take one of our sponge brayers. So we have sponge brayers in the annual catalog. And I'm going to make sure I roll over the whole thing. So don't just do this when you're rolling, because then you're only going to get a little bit of ink on your roller. You want to make sure you're rolling all the way across. So we're going to roll all the way across the ink pad. Make sure I get it fully inked. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm going to actually move this to this side. So it'll be easier. And I'm going to take that roller and now I'm going to roll it over my cardstock. And this is a pretty light color, and the sponge brayer does absorb a lot of ink, so I just used it last night, so I probably should have re-inked it, because that will take up a lot of the ink. But you can see, hopefully, that it's picking up that pink color, but it's leaving the pink off of the flower where mm -hmm. I um, colored it. Rarely haphazardly, because you can see there's only little bits of that. Pam, sorry you missed me at the start. I was in the wrong spot the first time, so that was my problem. I'm sorry about that. But you can always go back and watch the videos because they'll be posted to the page, so you can actually um, go back and start over if you'd like to once it's done. But right now, um, I was just telling the girls that we did the basic black archival ink on glossy cardstock, and then we colored in the flowers with um, a white crayon. And now I'm just taking my little sponge brayer and I'm rolling this over my glossy cardstock. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want. You could do ombre so it gets light to dark. Or you could just um, do what I'm doing and doing the whole thing. And it's what's really great about this is it blends really well. So you don't really see, like right now you can see kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of sponge marks here still. But when you the more you go over them, it just blends beautifully so that... When you're all done, it's a nice, it looks like the paper is pink instead of white, which is kind of crazy, but really fun. So I'm just going to do a little bit more here to get this back up to the right color. Yeah, sorry. So the other one was on the By the Shore stamping page, and I will share it to this if I can, um, just so it's all in one spot. All right, so there's that. So there you can see I did the whole background with that technique. This is the, as I said earlier, the Petal Passion Suite. So it's all black and white, which is really great because you can really give some pops of color. So I'm going to take um, Lemon Lime Twist Base, card base, and I'm going to fold this in half. And I decided to surprise you on the card, so you'll have to keep watching if you want to see the finished card. So you're going to go ahead and put that down, and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it on a basic black mat. So for those of you, if you're not familiar with doing card sizing, it is 8.5 by 5.5, and, and then you just fold it in half for the card base. And then this is 4 by 5 and a quarter, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the card. So we'll go ahead and put this down, and it should center right in the middle, like that. Then I'm going to take this little piece here, and I'm going to attach that down to the front of the card as well. And, oops, it's a little crooked. Eh, story of my life. Okay, we're going to let it go. All right, if I knew that song, I would sing it to you, but I don't, so I won't. I'll spare you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take, I have already pre-cut a little, um, circle here uh the stitch circle the stitch stitch oh my goodness say that three times fast stitch shapes circle um i'm gonna be careful when i'm saying that one or i might say something i'm not supposed to and we're gonna go ahead and stamp the greeting what did i do with my greetings ah. okay my desk was completely clean when i started this and now it looks like a war zone so i apologize okay we're gonna do this looks like a good wedding card to me so i'm gonna go ahead and take that greeting. It says some things are just meant to be, like the two of you. And we're going to do the basic black. And I'm going to stamp this off to the left a little bit. So we're going to put that off to the side and stamp that. Oh, you can't see it? Is it too low? Is that better? Sorry, the comments get in the way, right? Is that better? 
We're going to do that. Oh, and I'm going to leave those out because now we're going to do... Oh, my desk. You can't see my... Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad you can't see my disaster of a desk because it is seriously a disaster. All right, so slowing me down here. All right, so now we're going to do the little flowers. And I'm going to do those on the side here. And I'm going to just go ahead and do two little flowers here on the side. Like that. And I'm going to do a little inking on the edges. So this time I'm going to use Sahara Sand. Same idea as Crumb Cake, a little lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and ink the edge of that. Another one of my favorite tricks. I probably should have colored first but I don't think it'll really matter. Whoops, I got went a little crazy with the uh, ink got in the middle there, but oh well, we'll put some more up here. That way it looks like I did it on purpose. All right, so there's that. Next, I just took my Stampin' Write markers. So these are our regular water-based markers, and I'm just gonna take the, them and color in these little flowers. A little trick when you're coloring with your markers, you want to make sure you're using the um, side of your marker and not the very tip. If you color this way, like straight down, um, you can damage the, the tip of your marker so that when you go to color again, it's really hard to stay in the lines because it gets all fuzzy on the bottom. So if you use the side of your marker, you'll be in good shape. So I'm just coloring these pink, the same powder pink that I used on the um, card or on the glossy cardstock that we brayered, which I'll bring back in a second. And then next up is the um, Lemon Lime Twist marker. So I'm going to color the green. Sorry, I keep coming too low. Make sure that you can see it. Okay, so we're just going to color those. And then that's ready, almost. I did cut out one of the little leaves from the framelits as well. So those are called the Petals and More framelits. And they coordinate with that petal, petal palette is the name of the stamp set. And again, you can buy them in a um, bundle and save 10% when you buy them together. And I'm just poking out the little leaves because I didn't do it in advance, sorry. I forgot about them, to be honest. I just want to poke those out. You could use your pokey tool, but these come out actually really easily. I find that sometimes with these, usually you only have to roll your Big Shot twice. I mean once, like roll it through the machine once to get everything die cut. But with the little items that have thing, little tiny itty bits and pieces, I usually roll it through and then roll it back, and it pops them out really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this because I don't want this one big giant piece. I want... Um, I'm actually going to cut it like here, and that way I can get two sprigs out of one without having to cut two. And I want this to kind of be um, in the middle here, and I'm going to stick it so that it's kind of, actually I'm going to put it here and here. So my trick for this is once I figure out, okay, so I want it to come out like right by these flowers and right out under the, over by the sum. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick a little bit of adhesive on those two corners. I'm actually going to pop this up. So um, I'm just going to put this adhesive on the back there and then I can actually just push it down into that adhesive. And then we'll put one up here like that. So we get that. And it's still staying on the page. And then we're going to do some dimensionals, of course. So these are our full-size dimensionals. I only had the little ones in my last video, but I found the other ones in my wandering around my craft room. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. And we are here with that. Oh, stuck to my finger. And then you're just going to stick that down on the card base. So there you have it. There is the crayon resist technique. So as we started in the beginning, I'll go... Um, oh, see, I can't find it. The one I stamped before. Because this desk is a mess. Here we go. So the basic trick on this one was you're going to use the glossy cardstock 
and then your basic black archival ink and you stamp the greetings. You want to make sure you give them some time to dry and then you're going to just take a whisper white crayon and you're going to color in all the spots that you want to stay white. So on this one we colored in the leaves and the flowers because I wanted them to be white. But you can see that I wasn't really super meticulous about it. It looks fine. You don't have to make sure you get every little dot because as you're coloring you can't actually see um, where the white crayon is. You can kind of feel it a little bit um, but it's not really... Um, an exact science. You don't have to, you know, stress about it at all. As I always say, there's no stress in stamping. So there you have it. There is the finished card. So that is a really fun um, technique. And this bundle would easily get you a free reward. So um, this is the dies that come with it. So you can see there's the little leaf that I used. Um, you can see the other one, this little guy here on my card that I made that I showed you earlier. Um, you can see that here. So it adds some really nice elements. And then, of course, you have the elements that will actually cut out. And you can see in your catalog, the anything that's gray like this means it has a um, die that will cut it out. Um, so the other ones just coordinate, but that will cut it out. But you can do the bundles are here. So wood mount or clear mount. And then those are the prices, the 72 or 62 in the United States. And um, those will qualify you for a free celebration item. So there you have it. There is the um, crayon resist technique. So hopefully that um, inspired you a little bit. I'll be back with um, some more photos of the Heartfelt Blooms stamp because I didn't have time to play with that one as much either. And we'll have um, one more game and perhaps some other, um, one more live video where I'll um, give you another um, little tip and trick. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in a few.